So we also get the ultimate yet once again. So let me go ahead and use it. Hello, and <laughs> we went ahead and stunned it, and the monster didn't die. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, I am back with another one. We've got Tom Scud's Mind Turtle. This is one of the newest mythic monsters in the game, and I'm going to be reviewing it throughout this video. So, you guys will see the best skills, the best runes, the best relics, and basically just see this monster in action. So, I hope you guys are excited. If you are, smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel with your gauges on. Anyways, let's go on and get started. All right, so as you guys could see, we've got Tom Scud's Mind Turtle right here ready to hatch and this mythic monster is in so many books look at that oh my goodness so it is a nature corrupted mythic monster i have two rune slots open and that right there is the baby design let's go ahead and place it somewhere we're gonna place it on our monster vault in the meantime and let's see the animation all right so it turns into a huge turtle and it goes up and okay it just blows up <laughs> all right cool so that is 869 right there tom's cuz mine turtle so um, take a look at the um, traits here, guys. We have taunt in the beginning. So basically, you receive all the single target attacks, which is actually a pretty good trait to have. Um, then you have immune to stun at rank 1. This comes in handy in some cases. Rank 3, you have status caster life regen. So in the beginning of the battle, you'll just start off with a status caster life regen, which will heal you by 20% every turn. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, what the heck is this? Press the button. Deals insane fire damage to enemy. 100% chance of killing itself. What? <laughs> Alright, so the ultimate's name, uh, it's called Hello. Alright, so it's an insane fire damage to all enemies. Applies stun to all enemies. 100% chance of killing itself. What the heck is wrong with this monster? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Um, alright, so as you guys can see, I actually like the baby uh, design. I wish they let you uh, change it to your baby design unfortunately they don't do that i wish uh they let you do it you know like choose the baby version of your monsters like you can always change it to baby form or adult form that would be kind of sick i feel like they should do that i mean they have it in dragon city but they don't have it in here which kind of sucks that'd be so adorable like having a tom's cause mind turtle like the baby version and just playing with it that'd be awesome uh, but anyways, we're just going to go ahead and feed it up to level 100. And before we take a look at the stats and everything, let's go ahead and take a look at the skills right away. Although I do take a look at the stats normally first. But let's get into the skills because I want to see what he got. Alright, so one of the skill name is I want to die. Oh my goodness, what is up with this monster? Applies Mega Taunt, Vulnerable, and a 50% damage mirror to itself. So having that Mega Taunt and the 50% damage mirror, that's nice and all. But you apply a vulnerability to yourself, which kind of sucks. So that vulnerability, when the enemy attacks, you'll they'll deal quite a lot of damage since uh, you apply vulnerable. I just wish it was just a mega taunt and 50% damage mirror, but unfortunately there's vulnerable. But hey, there's more good into it than there's bad, if that makes sense. Um, so we're definitely going to choose that. Let's see what else we have. Muffin time. Ruins all negative side effects from itself, heals itself by 50%. Awesome. All right, I'll take that. So that's a self-support skill that comes in handy. <laughs> I'm a cow. Deals very heavy nature damage to one enemy, applies damage mirror to itself. So 100% damage mirror right there for two turns, and you're also dealing quite a lot of damage to the enemy. We also have I Like Trains, which deals moderate nature damage to all enemies, applies a three turn death countdown to all enemies. So having the curse countdown, yeah, the enemy will die in two turns, but if they end up cleansing it, that kind of sucks. But if they don't have any monsters that could end up cleansing that, then that's good for you. You can end up killing them in about three turns. Uh, stay in place is another skill. Applies Megaton to itself, heals itself by 30%. Now here's the thing, if you want to choose this over I want to die, you can. Uh, it costs less stamina, and there's less cooldown in it. Plus, on top of all of that, you don't apply vulnerability to yourself. So I feel like I should probably go with stay in place over I want to die, honestly. I know you're applying 50% damage in here, but this one has a heal skill, and it comes in handy. So I feel like I sh I'm just going to go with stay in place, plus less cooldown, guys. So you can literally, after two turns later, you can go on and apply Megatons again in case they end up cleansing it. You know what I mean? We also have do the flop. Deals low nature damage to all enemies, applies daze to all enemies. So that's a spamble skill as long as you have the 30 stamina. You also have the press the button. I don't recommend running this skill at all. This is just not good. Don't run this. Do not run this skill, okay? Please. You also have Mind Turtle, which is a moderate nature damage to one enemy, applies life regen. So this one also requires 30 stamina, but it is fine against cooldown activation, so if the enemy hits you with CDA, hey, you can still use this skill. 
So it's really up to you if you want to run that. But I feel like these four skills right here are the best ones to run, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, besides all of that, you've got strength, 8,445. That's actually pretty surprising. Since this is a tank, it has a good amount of strength. Life, on the other hand, 96,512. Uh, the highest life stat in the game, um, tied with two other monsters. One is Fujiratops. I, I hope I pronounced that correctly. You know the PV monster. That, and then there was also another monster. You got 6,160 speed. Unfortunately, it is the slowest monster in the game. Um, what's it called? It is the slowest, but not the slowest slowest. You know what I mean? It is tied with all the Fnatic, Boronaut, and a couple more. But um, yeah, the speed is just tied with those monsters, but it is the lowest though. But uh, in the other hand, and, and the bright side, you've got a good amount of strength and the highest life stat in the game, which is good. Especially the fact that it's a tank, you're going to need that. So there are many ways to bring this monster. Um, one way, one of the most popular way is just give it triple team speed mutated with life. Normally that's what I do something when um, I use a tank. Uh, you could do something like that, or you can do two team speed with one life. You can also do two life with one team speed, or even triple life if you want it to be super tanky. That's really up to you. But I think what I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and run um, some team speeds here. So I'm going to go with this level 6 team speed, and I think I'm going to give a life as well. So I'll give in this life right here. So basically, uh, you can do, once again, triple team speed. You can do triple life if you want, if you want it to be super tanky. Or two team speed, one life. Or two life, one team speed. So basically, just play around. But make sure to only give team speed and life, okay? Nothing else. Uh, because he doesn't need anything else besides all of that. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the relics here. So for relics, you had, uh, you've got a body armor. This is good. Having body armor, that's really good. So here are some body armors that I recommend giving. You can go with Brucha's armor, Nematos armor, Morgz's armor, and um, I think that that's about it. You could also do a Tom's armor if you have that, uh, but I'm gonna go with Brucha's armor. Okay. Now for the SN, this is also really good for this monster. So excellent relic slots in my personal opinion. So here's what you can give. You can do Ural SN. You can do Flamar's SN. You can also do Zyron's SN, which I have right here. Uh, but I feel like your SN or Flame Mars SN works best. And if you get this monster up to rank 1, I recommend giving it either Soul Drag, which is actually a like the best optical talent to give. You could do that. You could do Skill Mirror 1, which is called Crystal Form. You can do Static Shock. You can do... Um, let's see what else. I think that's about it. I can't think of anything else that would fit this monster. Uh, you can also do Burning Hands, although Burning Hands not really... Oh, Mud Body actually. Mud Body works best. So once again... Mud body, soul drag, crystal form, static shock. Give those for obscure talents if you're gonna rank this monster up. All right. So while I was looking around, uh, before I wanted to test it out, just a thing, something that I thought about. Let me go ahead and you know, just swap this skill with something like, for example, uh, the three turn death countdown. Let's just say. So the press button. I told you guys not to run this, right? But here's the thing. Here's what I thought about. If I take it to for example, battle, right? Doesn't matter where, but right now we're just going to take it to adventure map. And so let's just go ahead and press fight. So here's the thing. If you have Lawn Rat, this monster right here, pair it up because Lawn Rat gives this immune to trigger death in its area. So everybody gets it, right? And so I feel like Lawn Rat would be the best teammate or the best ally to run this monster with because look, when it's this monster's turn, press the button. This go right here, which basically has a 100% chance of killing itself, it won't work. It won't kill him. Take a look at this. Press the button, and as you can see, it's blocked because of that immunity trigger death. So I feel like Lawn Rat would be a great ally to pair this monster up with. Um, so if you do have Lawn Rat or any other monster that basically gives um, immunity trigger death or immediate death, then go ahead and run it. But since, I mean, the reason why I mentioned Lawn Rat would be the best because. If, let's say, the enemy ends up trade disabling you, and then you end up using um, the press the button skill, and you end up killing yourself, it's okay, because remember, Lawn Red can resurrect. You know what I mean? Lawn Red has resurrection skills. So, Mind Turtle is actually not a bad monster. Pair it up with uh, Lawn Red if you do have Lawn Red once again, guys. But anyways, I'm just going to pair it up with... Um, let's do an attacker, okay? Here's the thing. I feel like... Lady Mail would be a good option because of the dodgy area, you know? 
So you have Taunt, Dodge Area, and then you can pair it up with, for example, Jakuna High instead of Lonrad. Okay? So uh, you can do like the Taunt with double, mega, uh, double uh, what's it called? Dodge Area team. You know what I mean? So you can do something like that. But anyways, as you guys can see, we started off with a, a 100,000 shield. That's because of the Recharge Armor. So if you do have Recharge Armor, give it. Anyways, we do have Taunt. So let me go ahead and show you guys an example of what the Taunt actually does. So I'm going to go ahead and give this monster a turn. And hopefully he ends up using a single target skill and not AoE. So as you guys can see, single target went directly towards this monster. So it's supposed to absorb all the incoming damage. You know, the single target damage. So let's see if it happens again. See? Single target. Single target. Everybody's basically attacking him while the other two monsters are untouched. You know what I mean? And the nice thing is, if you do end up giving a armor that gives him shield, it actually helps him out a ton. Because then, you have your armor helping you, and on top of that, you also have your life. So they're going to have to get through that armor first in order to attack you. Now, here is one of the skills that he... Oh, we actually got ultimate. Cool. So the ultimate, apparently, it... Deals insane fire damage to all enemies, applies stun to all enemies, and 100% 100 chance of killing itself. But luckily, we are running Lonrad on the side, so he won't end up dying. So he'll deal the damage. As you guys can see, we went ahead and stunned and also dealt the damage, but the monster didn't die thanks to that trait that this monster gives. So they're both stunned, meaning that they'll lose a turn. So as you guys can see, they both lost a turn. And let's see. I can't attack with this monster, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna charge up. You know what? Bam! Take that. Just like that, and we won. Um. So I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to another battle. Let's go with uh, this one right here. Or maybe I can fight one of the bosses, like right here. There should be a boss. All right. So we are taking down the not functioning mainframe. All right, and then the two sentinels. Cool. All right. So I take it for his turn. Lady Meow is quite... Yeah, it's, you're gonna deal quite a lot of damage to them, huh? I can take the other two down right now if I wanted to. I really can. I'm gonna charge up. And I'll charge up again. So here is another one of his skills that are really good, and that's the Mega Taunt. So take a look at this. I applied the Mega Taunt to myself. Now what this means is that even the AoE skills will go directly towards this Mega... Uh, towards this um, Mind Turtle monster. So take a look at that. All the incoming damage goes towards him. AoE, single target, everything. So take a look at that. He's basically absorbing it all. Which is really good. So the other two monsters are untouched. And I can continue attacking them. While they're not being touched at all. And uh, Mind Turtle is basically the hero there. Protecting. Now, that's not all he can do. He can also remove all the negative status effects that's in him and also heal himself by 50%. We, we don't really need that. I'm just going to go with the damage mirror, 100% damage mirror. So bam, take that. So now what that means is that um, it reflects all the 100% damage that is that he's taking basically. So if this monster ends up dealing like 100,000 damage to this monster, right? That 100,000 damage will go directly back to him. If that makes sense. Take a look at this right here. Game over, 17,000. I think he's going to take it. Yep, take a look at that. 17,000. Even though he has armor there. And remember, it lasts for two turns, which is really good. So we also get the ultimate yet once again. So let me go ahead and use it. Hello. And <laughs> we went ahead and stunned it and the monster didn't die. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, is, this monster is awesome. All right. I'll do this. The sun protection. And deal quite a lot of damage there with Lady Meow. And then finish it off with this blow. Bam. Just like that. Victory's ours. So yeah. Um, once again guys. Paired up with two dodge area monsters. Since this monster is a taunt. You know. Paired up with two dodge area. And you'll be fine. But if you do have Lonerat. Once again. It's a great pair up. So if you own that. Go ahead and pair them up. With that. You know what I mean. So you don't end up killing yourself with your ultimate. And also press the button skill. So yeah. That's going to be pretty much it for today's Monster Legends Monster Review on the Mythic Monster, Tom Scott's Mind Turtle. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash like button, also subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.